Okay, on the Lord of Logic, we're going to show you how to make a version of Snake, which you can see on the screen, where the user controls the snake, which gets bigger each time it eats one of the objects on the screen. And we're going to do that in Scratch. The Scratch version is going to look slightly different. It's going to look more like this. So it's going to be quite similar, where the user can go up, down, left, right. And the object of the game is to get as big as you can, and you get bigger each time you eat one of the items of food on the screen. In our version, the score starts at zero and goes up by one each time, and it teleports across, so it meets these success criteria. And the success criteria you got to meet is that you can go up, down, left, right by pressing those keys. You can teleport to and fro. Your score goes up by one when you eat one of the uh, food items. Each time your score goes up by one, you get one section bigger. The, the way food you item the reappears at a random area you when you've yourself. eaten it, like so. And so the first success keeps criteria again we're and again try and meet is the first you one, and to make sure we got a head and, and the head's a suitable size. Okay, we don't need the cat sprite, so the first thing we're going to do is to right click and delete it. Then we're going to go to the paint new icon, paint new sprite icon, and we're going to click on the circle icon. I'm going to go over yellow snakes, so I'm going to click on the color yellow. I'm going to hold shift down so I get a perfect circle, and I'm going to click and drag to draw the circle. We need some eyes on the head, so I'm going to flick to the color black, and then do two little circles for my eyes. They need to be in the same place because we're going to start off always facing to the right side okay then when we're done we're going to click ok at the minute it's not meeting our first success criteria because it's a bit too big so we're going to uh, put a bit of code in to make sure it's a suitable size so i'm going to say when the green flag is clicked i'm going to change the look so i'm going to go to the look menu and i'm going to select um, set size 2 and i'm going to try a new uh, size I'm going to test it. I think it's slightly too small there, so I'm going to increase that size. Test it again, and now I think it's okay, and we've met the success criteria. So the head's a suitable size. Now we need to meet the success criteria of users being able to move the head so it's facing up, down, left, and right. To do this, we're going to add more code. Because we want people to be always in the game, be able to change the direction of the head, we want this code to happen forever, to iterate, to repeat. So we're going to use the forever block. And we're going to say that if the user has pressed the up key to change to change the direction to up. Let's just check that works by clicking on the green flag and I'm going to press up and as you can see that's working to an extent but we need to do it for the other inputs uh, up down left right so we're going to duplicate that one then duplicate both together and we're going to change that one so it's when people press down the directions down and when people press right the direction of the head goes to the right and if people press the left key, the direction of the head points to the left. Let's just test that. We're going to click on the green flag and press up, down, left, right, and just check it works with our test inputs. And it does. So that success criteria is met. Now we're going to make sure it moves forever. So we're going to add some more code. And we're going to say when the green flag is pressed, move 10 steps. Um, this isn't working. This isn't meeting the success criteria because it only happens once. We want that to have repeat, so we're going to put that inside of forever so it happens again and again and again. As you can see, it's not really meeting the success criteria, but the speed is suitable. So we're going to add some more code. We're going to put a weight block in there, and we're going to set it to 0 0.3. And then let's just test that. And that is a lot better that's more of a suitable speed to start off with. 
although I think I might just change the number of steps to 15 and there you go that's a suitable speed to start off with so that success criteria is met now we're going to do it so when it gets to the edge it kind of teleports so for example when it's moving to the right and it gets to the edge it would reappear so for example when it's moving to the right and at the same time it's also true that its position on the x-axis is above 235 it moves back to the other side as shown in this image to do that we need to add more code and we say when the green flag is clicked forever because we want this to happen all through the game we want it to repeat we want to iterate that whenever it hits the edge it kind of teleports if these two things are true so we need an and block and it's going to be if the direction equals 90 but that means it's going to the right and at the same time also true is that the x position is greater than 235 so we need a uh, something greater than something block and we're going to put the x position there and then the other side we're going to put 235 and if that's true if it's going to the right and the x position is bigger than 245 what you want it to happen is you want it to go to the other side and that means we're going to put a go to block in and we're going to set the y-axis to the same so you want it to be at the same height but we want it to go to minus 235 on the x-axis we want it to go to the other side as shown let's just press the green flag to check that out so what we're expecting is it's always checking to see if the two things are true and the, it's not because at the moment it's not above 245 when it is and it's going at the right it flicks and it teleports and goes to where we've asked it to go to similarly we want it so that if the head is moving to the left and at the same time it's also true that the head is in an x position smaller than minus 245 it teleports to the other side as shown on the image to do that we're going to add more code it's going to be very similar so we're just going to duplicate the previous block and we're going to adapt it so that the direction is minus 90 which means to the left and it's smaller the x position is smaller than minus 245 and if both of those things are true we want it to teleport to the x position 235 let's just try out if that works by pressing the green flag and as you can see that now works to and fro if i test it now to see whether it works on the y-axis it won't why not well we haven't put the code in and so we're going to put the code in now uh, it's somewhat similar so we're going to duplicate those two blocks just going to move it down there somewhat similar but just be careful on this point because we're not looking to see where it is on the x position we're looking to see where it is on the y position and if it's bigger than 175 and at the same time the direction is up the direction is zero we want it to go to y minus 175 and the x position to stay the same and if the direction is 180 it's going down and at the same time the y position is less than is smaller than minus 175 so it's on the bottom edge we want the x position to stay the same so it's the same left and right but it reappears at the top where the y position is 175 let's just press the green flag to check that out and as you can see the teleportation is now working so the fifth success criteria is being met next we'll move on to the next success criteria which is that you've got a body which follows the head that's going to be on the next video and the next video it's going to be the second one of three is going to move us on much further towards the final version of the game so we're going to have the cheesy puffs that appear at random the score which starts at zero and goes up one each time the food's eaten the cheesy puffs are going to disappear when you touch it and the body's going to follow the head and that's going to be the second of three videos so you're almost there i'll see you on the next video